What is going on guys? Your shredded brother from another mother and welcome to the superhuman back workout for both size and aesthetics. So we're going to focus on growing every single section of our back and a huge emphasis on widening the lats because that's going to give you a more impressive V taper physique. So right now I'm just loading up the deadlift bar for a warm up set. And of course, we are going to utilize the balloon method in today's workout, which is going to hit all three phases of how our body builds muscle scientifically. Let's get into the workout. So this is my first working set on the deadlift. Now, I actually have not deadlifted in, in about eight months. The deadlift is just an incredible um, exercise, I used to always deadlift. Uh, recently, I haven't just because deadlifting at my gym that I usually train at is really inconvenient. So I definitely don't have the best deadlift form. I noticed a few mistakes in my overall deadlift form while recording this video. So I'm actually really glad I recorded this part because the deadlift is such a crucial exercise. Now, the first mistake I'm making is I definitely need to stand a little bit closer to the bar and I'm leading way too much with my back and not my lower body. So bad form or not, I actually did hit a PR of 485 pounds during this workout and I felt really good. I felt like, um, like I could definitely get 500 plus with a little bit of a tweak in my form. So I definitely don't recommend you guys go really heavy until you have your form down. I'm going to link to a great form video from a guy who trains a ton of NFL players in the description below. So got that one pretty easily. That was, I believe, uh, I think this is my set of 455, 43. So I really tried to pound the deadlift at the start of this back workout. Also guys, if your main goal is fat loss, you have got to do maximum intensity compound lifts. So hitting the squat and hitting the deadlift at maximum intensity are so important when you're shredding. So I'm hyper conscious about not losing strength when I'm shredding. So this is my attempt. I think I just do a single here and this is at 475 pounds, I believe. So this one felt, I'm not gonna lie, this one felt very heavy as you can see there. So keep it nice and controlled on the way down. And that was 475. So I decided to go for one more really heavy repetition. So this is 485 pounds, I believe. And I did five total heavy sets on the deadlift. I used to do um, like five to seven heavy deadlift sets when I used to uh, train for deadlift. So really recommend it, especially if you're shredding, focus on not losing that strength. So as you can see, this one um, barely got this rep up. So let's see how I do here. And it always looks so much easier when you're watching it versus when you're actually doing it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> So if you guys are serious about getting shredded, this is what I mean by maximum intensity compound lift training. I went really high rep um, on one set of deadlifts. So 12 reps until failure, like I was sweating my ass off. I was more exhausted after going 12 heavy reps on the deadlift than probably any other thing I've done in the gym in the last month. I cannot recommend this enough. If you wanna get shredded, you wanna build muscle, um, you have got to train like this. So I went 12 total reps, then I actually jumped on the pull-up bar at the very end of the set and just repped out some pull-ups until failure. I kind of thought of it in the moment. I wasn't planning to, it just felt really good after doing all those deadlifts to uh, jump on the pull-up bar. So try this superset, maybe at like the very end of your deadlifting routine. And like, if you do the deadlift and the pull-up back to back, you are hitting every section of your chest. So I got slightly uh, wide grip pull-ups here, pumping on a few reps, and that was brutal. So overall back width used to be a huge weakness for me. And one thing that really helped me bring it up is T30 sets, 30 seconds time under tension on exercises 
that really emphasize the lats and the terrace major. So this one right here, I'm focusing on bringing my elbows in to my body and I'm focusing mind muscle connection on my lats. So with this one, I recommend you go light and you pick a weight that you can control for a full 30 to 40 seconds. And this is one of my favorite overall exercises where I just feel an incredible pump in my lats. So try to keep your hands um, almost at a parallel grip. You're driving your elbows down towards the sides of your body and you're keeping uh, that muscle tense even on the eccentric portion of lifting the cable back up. So we're going three total sets here, 30 seconds time under tension, and I recommend keeping your rest times at about 45 total seconds. So this felt really good after all those heavy deadlifts. said six to eight next up we're doing a drop set to maximize both metabolic stress and muscle damage on the underhand grip lat pull down probably my favorite variation of the lat pull down of course it's hitting biceps it's great for your lats your hands are going to be um, slightly inside shoulder width apart and try to get a full stretch at the top drive your elbows down to the sides of your body and I call it an anabolic drop set. I mentioned this in the last video. I've gotten a lot of shit about this terminology on Instagram. The reason that I call it this is because I believe that the 8 to 10 rep range and then dropping the weight 30% and trying to do another 8 to 10 reps is the perfect rep range and the perfect percentage weight drop to maximize hypertrophy. So you're hitting a ton of metabolic stress and a ton of muscle damage. You're gonna get really fatigued here on the second part of the drop. Focus on controlling that weight through the eccentric portion. Okay. So I said we were gonna focus a ton of energy on back width, and I wasn't kidding, because we're gonna do another T30 set now with pullovers. So this one, I'm really able to feel a strong contraction in my lats on this one. We're focusing on keeping your arms straight. If you don't keep your arms straight, you're basically doing a tricep exercise. So you're going to be bent over, keeping your arms straight, driving your elbows back behind your body. And once again, everybody's arm length is different. Everybody's structured a little bit differently. The main thing is that you are focusing on pumping blood and getting a massive pump in your trap, excuse me, in your lats. So. I find that the closer that I'm able to keep my elbows to my body and the more I can kind of like drive them behind my body, I feel a great contraction. So we're going three total sets, 30 second rest time. So we're going to go back to the compound exercises, one of my favorite back builders, the dumbbell one arm row, obviously indirectly hitting your deltoids, a little bit your biceps, but this exercise, try to go nice and heavy and control the weight on the eccentric portion. Um, not the most perfect form right there. I think I went a little bit too heavy. I didn't quite uh, judge how fatigued I was on this set. Um, so once again, you're controlling the weight, you're focusing um, your upper back, your lats, just a phenomenal back builder. And very important, we are controlling the weight on the eccentric portion of all these lifts. That means at least one to two seconds on the way down, you're not throwing the weight violently back down to the ground. We're gonna finish up with a brutal lower back exercise. And if I had to guess, most of you guys probably have weak lower backs, weak glutes, and weak hamstrings. Those are the three main muscle groups this exercise is going to target. So the barbell reverse hyperextension definitely is gonna be a staple in my upcoming back workouts. So this one is just phenomenal for really feeling it in your lower back, feeling like you're actually getting stronger in your lower back. So we're gonna go two total sets here in the 12 to 15 rep range to finish up the superhuman back workout. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what muscle group you want me to cover next. Make sure you give this video a big like. I'm going to link to all the other balloon method workouts 
in the description below. Give me a follow at Troy Shred on Instagram where I'm documenting daily my 75 day shred and I will see you guys on the next video. You ain't no weight.